Hi everyone, welcome back. In this video, I want to show you step by step how to create a Spring Boot project in Eclipse IDE. Well, the easiest way to create and set up Spring Boot project in Eclipse IDE is that we can create a Spring Boot project using Spring Initializer and we can import that project in Eclipse IDE. It is very simple. Just open the browser. In a new tab, just search for Spring Initializer and hit enter and go ahead and click on this link that is star.spring.io this will open up Spring Initializer. Well, Spring Initializer is a web tool that we can use to quickly create a Spring based applications. Next, let us fill up the project details over here. So here we have different project types. We are going to use Marvin. So let us keep Marvin as selected over here. And here we have different programming languages. We are going to use Java. So let us keep Java as selected. But you can use Kotlin Groovy as per your requirement. Next here, Spring Boot version. So Spring Boot version 3.4.0 is the latest version of Spring Boot as of now. Just keep, you know, selected version as it is. You can choose any Spring Boot version as per your requirement over here. Okay. Next, let us fill up the project metadata. So here, let us give group as net.javaguides. You can give any group ID that you want. Next, let us give artifact as Spring Boot first app. Next, project name is same as artifact. So let us keep as it is. Next description demo project for Spring Boot. Package name, let us give net.javavage.springboot. Next, keep packaging as a jar file and here Java version 17. Well, just remember if you are using Spring Boot 3, then you have to use the Java version 17 or later. So here I am going to use the latest version of Java that is 23. Next, go to the dependency section over here. So here just click on add dependencies to add the dependency. Well, we are going to create a simple REST API to, you know, test the setup. For that, we can choose Spring Web Dependency. Well, we can use Spring Web Dependency to develop the REST API as well as Spring MUC web applications. And this Spring Web Dependency internally provides Apache Tomcat as a default embedded container. We don't have to externally set up the server to deploy the application. This Spring Web Dependency internally provides Apache Tomcat as a default embedded container. So just select this dependency. Next, if you want to use the database, then you can just select the JPA that is Spring Data JPA dependency as well as MySQL driver. Okay, so in this video, we are going to create a simple REST API for that Spring Web dependencies in up. Okay, so just select the Spring Web dependency over here. Next, if you want to explore the project metadata or the project structure, then go ahead and click on this explore button. And here you can see the default Spring Boot project structure. So this is basically project structure based on the Marvin. Next, go to the pom.xml file and here you can check the Java version and Spring Boot version. So Spring Boot version is 3.4.0 and Java version is 23 and the dependency Spring Boot Starter Web. And this Spring Boot Starter Test dependency we can use to create the unit test cases. So this dependency is basically by default added to the project. Next, if you want to explore the project structure, you can go to the SRC folder and here you can see the standard Marvin project structure. Okay. Next, click on close button. And in order to download this project, go ahead and click on this generate button. This will, you know, generate this Spring Boot project as a zip file. You can see here, download is completed. And if you can notice the file extension zip. So this is the zip file. So go ahead and open in a folder and just extract this zip file. So for that, right click, click on extract all and just extract this in a downloads folder, click on extract. Now you can see we have extracted Spring Boot first app zip file. Next let us open the Eclipse IDE. So here I have opened the Eclipse IDE. Next in order to import the Spring Boot project in a Eclipse IDE, just go to the file, click on import and here just type Marvin. So basically the Spring Boot project is Marvin project. So here in order to import the existing project just choose this existing Marvin projects section and click on next and here just browse the project so just click on browse and go to download folder and here we have spring boot first app project so just select it click on select folder and then click on finish that's it you can see spring boot first app project is successfully imported in a eclipse id and just wait a couple of seconds to download all the dependencies in a local repository and you can see 
the Java version 23. Next, you can open the perm.xml file and you can check out all the dependencies, versions, etc. Next, in order to test this setup, let us quickly create one REST API. So here, go to the src main Java folder and go to the package. And this is the main entry point class. So in order to run the Spring Boot application, we use this class. Okay. And this class contains a main method. So the execution of the Java program starts from main method. So in Spring Boot also, we can run this main method to run this, you know, Spring Boot project. Next, this class is annotated with add Spring Boot application annotation. So this, this annotation is very important because this annotation enables auto configuration for the Spring Boot application. And also it does a lot of things. Okay. Next, let us create one simple REST API. So go to this package, right click on it, new and then choose class. And let us give class name as welcome controller. So typically we give a naming convention like this. So we are basically creating Spring MEC controller. So this is the naming convention. Okay. Next, click on finish. Next, let us make this class as a Spring REST controller by annotating it with at REST controller annotation. And make sure to import this REST controller annotation from org Spring framework web bind annotation package. Next, within this class, let us create a REST API. So here just type public and then give return type as a string. Let us give the method name as welcome. And within this method, let us have return statement return welcome to your first Spring Boot app development, something like that. Now we have created a simple method. Next, let us make this method as a REST API by annotating this method with add get mapping annotation. Next, let us configure the URL for this REST API. So let us say slash welcome. Perfect. Now we have built a simple REST API using Spring Boot. Next, let us run the Spring Boot application and let us test this REST API. So in order to run the Spring Boot application, go to the main entry point class and here just right click on this class, run as Java application. And notice here, the Spring Boot application is running on embedded Tomcat server on port 8080. Next, let us go to the browser and in a new tab, just type localhost 8080 slash welcome and hit enter and there we go. You can see the response of the REST API. Welcome to your first Spring Boot app development. And if you go to the REST API again, in a REST API response, we have configured welcome to your first Spring Boot app development. So this is what you can see in the response of the REST API. It means the Spring Boot setup we have done in the Eclipse side is working as expected. Well, let me recap what we have done in this video. We have created a Spring Boot project using Spring Initializer and we have downloaded as a zip file Next, we have extracted that zip file and we have imported that Spring Boot project in Eclipse IDE. And then we have built a simple REST API to test the Spring Boot setup in Eclipse IDE. Alright, great. I will see you in the next video.